Hi everybody, welcome back. Now, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I think it was when I was checking this van during lockdown, I made the incredible discovery that this is absolutely knackered. It is, of course, our flush pump for the toilet. Now, many comments mentioned that uh, maybe I should empty the flush tank. Well, the truth is, we empty the flush tank in the caravan every time we go away. And it makes no sense to me that this is that badly damaged because we're always emptying the flush tank. And this is what I think has happened. I think this pump was damaged. Somehow, somewhere, some method over the past two years, I think this pump has become damaged. And I think water has gotten into the motor cavity. That's where the motor is, I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus, damn you. So there's the motor there. And I think water has got in there. And as you look at the crack, that's where it's cracked and obviously seized up. In fact, if I turn it around that way, you see a better representation of that. So I think what's happened, even though we've been emptying it, I think water has been in there. And quite rightly, as some subscribers have noticed, it's probably frozen and that's what's cracked it to literally let in more water and so has allowed it to corrode up. Either way, it's not gonna ever pump again, is it? So, I need to replace it, and I have replaced it. I've got a, another one. Um, now, before you all start jumping to the comments section, I'm well aware that this could probably be a warranty claim, and I'm well aware that I could book this in and get it repaired. But the fact is that my dealership right now is extremely busy. They are extremely behind catching up with work already. So there's no harm, in my opinion, of me going out, getting one of these. Um, plus also, I can share it with you on how to do it. I'm going to have to close the window on the car because it's raining. I told you it would be. It's not three o'clock though, love. No, but I told you it was going to rain. Oh dear. Sorry about that interruption. Obviously you get this one, this one's for the 260. In this kit you get the pump, the cabling, a grommet, and a new sticker to go on the top of the toilet. Now this one retails for about 46 quid. Uh, you're spending about that amount of money for the original Thetford replacement. Come in. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm being interrupted, it's because it's raining and I left the car window open. Thank you for that, sweetheart. So there are pumps available, submersible pumps, um, impeller type uh, pumps, which are a lot cheaper, but I'm not going to show you any of those because I, I don't know how good they are, uh, but I'm sure people have used them. And if you have, let other people know how you got on with them in the comments down below. Right, that's enough waffling. Let's get on and replace it. Right, let me show you what we've got then. So obviously I've removed the existing um, pump already, as you've seen. Um, the pump goes onto that uh, pipework there, and the cable needs to come through that grommet there. Now the new kit also comes with a grommet, so the first task, I need to remove that grommet. And to do that, I'm gonna use a small screwdriver, if I've got one. So just looking which way out, it's going to be easier to get this out. I think this is going to be the way we're going to go. So I just want to deform it, squeeze it in from one side and pop it out like so. There we go. That was easy. I hope that showing you this uh, does inspire you to go and do it yourself because quite honestly, you know, this is such an easy job to do and uh, will make such a difference. So this is what we have. We've got the pump, we've got the plug, and we've obviously got a new grommet there as well. The pump goes in this way, the cable comes up through here, like so. Now, this I have a feeling is going to be a bit tight. I don't want to use a screwdriver to score it at all or deform it. So, to make life easier, what I've got is the silicon spray which I use to um, this one here what the silicon spray which I use to lubricate my seals so I'm just going to put some of that on the grommet and we'll go again oh yeah there we go that's nice and easy good the next thing I need to do is reconnect the pump. 
So the pump is there, pipe work is there, and that just literally pushes on. And that's it, job done. The whole assembly then just drops in like so. I hope you can see this. Right, I've taken the circuit board off of the lid which it was all uh, clipped into and that just literally unclips and now it's time to connect everything up. Pump goes over that side, it can only go one side by the way and then the power goes in that side and then press the button and there we go. That works. Next thing I want to do is put some water in the tank and make sure it flushes it through. So let's see if we can actually get some water through. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm just going to run it for a bit, just to make sure it is absolutely happy. Right, now it's just a case of screwing it all back in together again. And that's quite an easy job. Right, I'm now showing this to you with one screw in my mouth. So we've just got a screw in here. Like so. Second screw on the other side. Now speaking to you without screw in my mouth. Right, there we go. That screw is down. Not too tight. Make sure that the flat edge is along there. The curved edge is over here. Next thing I need to do is find the control panel top, which is here. Um, I'm just gonna remove the sticker. I do have a replacement in that kit but we'll see how this goes anyway. I've just taken the circuit board off, put it on there properly, which you wouldn't have seen on camera at all. Now just a case of refitting the plugs back on here. Again, they only go on one way round, so you can't go wrong. Right, that goes in like so. Still flushing, which is good. Let's get our trusty old label here. Refit that. Like so, again, I'm not using the um, the new one just yet because I don't think I need to. Good, and that's working. Let's just uh, prove the point. And we'll just run out of water. Right, there we go, that is the pump now replaced. Hopefully, that's the end of our trials and tribulations. Now, before I fitted the pump in, I did have a look inside the tank. I wanted to see if there was any debris or any um, muck at the bottom of the tank, obviously being dry now for some time. So what I did do is I, I shone my torch in there and had a good look in as best as I possibly could. I didn't film any of that because you would just be looking at the back of my head looking in to be honest. So I did have a look in there and it looked fairly clean and tidy. There was a couple of brown stains at the bottom. I think that's from the leftovers of the pump. So I'm going to come up in a couple of days and I'm going to flush it through with lots and lots of water to just really get rid of any detritus at the bottom there. I think I'm going to put some pure clean in there as well just to clean it all up and get rid of any um, any deposits or any slime or anything that's built up inside there which I genuinely can't understand where it would come from. I think though this pump, like I said before, was faulty. I think that's the reason why it cracked and blew open. And uh, it obviously it didn't come like this. I pulled it apart uh, and I pulled the end off as well uh, just to see what was actually going on inside there. But um, yeah, looking at how it works and how it, it performs, I can't see any other explanation other than water got into the motor housing, froze, cracked it and stayed in there. So yes, I think that's what's happened there. Anyway, I hope that this has helped you. I hope this has given you inspiration and the confidence to go and give it a go yourself if you're having similar problems. It genuinely is not a difficult job. It's just a little bit awkward bending over in a bathroom over the top of a camera, but maybe you could do it without the camera. Right, that's it from me today. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do add any comments or questions in the comments down below. Please do subscribe to our channel, hit the notification icon, and if you're in the mood, why not become a member for exclusive content? So that's it from me today. We'll see you next time. Thanks then, bye now.